Hey everybody, it's Margaret and I'm bringing you another haul video. I uploaded one earlier today and this is all um, a haul from earlier this week when I went to a couple different thrift stores and charity shops. So I thought I'd go ahead and enter it in and do a quick haul video and just save it for later and share it with you later. Um, so yeah, here we go. So I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm a sucker. I'm always picking up scarves and I have no scarves listed by the way. But I picked up this Vera scarf, and I don't know why, I just like this brand. Oops. Hey. <laughs> Let me take it down off the other side, or I'm going to forget. Wow, this is awesome. Pardon me. It's rude to be on my phone in front of you, but if I don't do it now, I sold the pie bird. When the pie was open, the bird began to sing. Wasn't that a lovely gift to set before the king? I don't know. Doesn't sound so awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, Vera. I, yeah, like I said, I always pick this brand up because their scarves are always so pretty. There's the label. But I have not sold a single one. Okay, Soup Dragon. Got to mute you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I just noticed a little hole. So this is probably going to end up in my redonate pile. I have a few things in this haul that are going to end up in the redonate pile, but that's okay. And I've also put a little happy face up here. Look. Ah. Uh, because I keep forgetting and I'm looking at the screen and then I realize I'm not looking you in the eyes. So I put a little smiley face person up there to look at so that maybe I would remember to look up at the camera and not down here at the screen. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe I should start over again. Maybe I should. Okay. No, no. We're going forward. <laughs> you will forgive me, right? Okay, so I picked up this game, and it's this DVD Candyland game, and it's over here on my pile. I'm not going to pick it up. Um, but when I check out and see if all the pieces are in there, which I think they are, um, it's going for okay money, but then I also notice, look, they, I mean, anywhere from between $10 and $30. But then um, I also saw that the pieces are selling. Look, just the replacement pieces, $19.50. I mean, over here, $13.50. So I'm thinking, all right, no biggie. If they, there are just six of them for $6.99. If I, you know, if it's not complete or if something comes about and I can't list the whole game, um, I'm going to lot them up with the pieces. So that's going to be pretty cool. Cool, cool. Um, and then I picked up this. Why did I put stuff on top of it? All right, all right. This is going to be a convoluted one, isn't it? This 3D puzzle. And I picked it up because it was sealed. Um, still sealed up and new. And so it is going, this is sold on um, eBay. And so here one, this is the particular one I have. $15.29 is what it's sold for. There's a few different ones, um, 15, about 15 bucks, and I paid a dollar for it. And then, oh, this is on um, Amazon. I don't think I'm gonna send it into Amazon, though. And then this is another one that I was like, well, I'll, I'll just get it. I was out with my sister. She had come in for a, just a little quick visit, and I, I've never picked these up before, but I thought, okay, two bucks, I'm gonna give it a try. I didn't even look it up because it was with my sister. We were just running in real quick. And it turns out, no. And, and it doesn't turn, well, I'd have to check the batteries and test it and all that. And then I'm looking at this like, okay, what's the point? It's only going for like between seven and nine bucks. Uh, I paid $2, so this is going into my redonate pile. I'm going to put it right, oh, go, oh, over there. Okay, redonate. I have my glass of water down there too. I almost knocked it over. It is April 1st. Oh, okay. So this is a frame that I picked up. It's a Berenstain Bears frame. And I know there are people that collect Berenstain Bears stuff. And so when I saw this for $2, I thought, sure, I'll get that. Um, there was a lady, I, I would find Berenstain Bears books all the time, like at garage sales or at the thrift store for 10 cents. I would lock them up and sell them on a local garage sale site. And there were a couple moms that every single time, you know, they're like, I want them, I want them, I'm looking for this particular one, or they'll, they'll just want, you know, one or so, and they were willing to pay to complete their collection for their children. So, but this one sold for $19.99, I also looked it over here, looked it, 
Um, but I guess they took a best offer, and so I looked it up. Looked it up. There we go. Annunciation. All right. Uh, $14.99, y'all. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. And then this was another one that might be a little bit of a dud. It's a Tinkerbell. It was a dollar. Tinkerbell and Friends um, switch plate. And I'm seeing, you know, here, new 563. So I'm probably going to put this back in my donate pile. Um, yeah, because I don't think it's even worth the energy to try to list it for that price when I bought it for a dollar. Okay. So there it goes. Ta-ding! in the redonate pile. I just have too much stuff to worry about, you know, trying to get that. Okay, I, this is not the mug I have here in that picture, but this is the closest I could find. So this is a Puerto Vallarta mug, and I just thought it was so cool and unique. I've never, <laughs> it may not be unique for all I know. Um, Mexico, it says. Anyway, um, it just seemed really cool and well done. So I picked that up, really heavy. I see one here for $18.95. There were none that I could find that were like this that were sold. I picked it up for 79 cents. And you'll see, I have a lot of mugs in this haul. And um, if you are in the in the group, International League of Thrifters, our group, we have challenges every month. And this past, not month, every week, God, golly. <laughs> so anyway, this week, uh, the challenge was plush. And I think next week, we're gonna go ahead and do a mug challenge. Um, and when we do the challenges, it's not as if you have to go out and buy these things if you don't have them. But for me and a lot of the other people that when we do these challenges, it's more about, um, getting rid of what we've got already. I've got so many mugs that I haven't listed. We did the plush challenge because I had so many, not just me, but you know, people have a lot of plush that they haven't listed. And just kind of that push to get you focused and going in that right direction. So um, it seems to be working. A lot of people, we get a lot of positive feedback about it. Um, so if you want, you know, come over and, and join International League of Thrifters. All of a sudden this turned into a plug. <laughs> It's a fun group. We do challenges and diff different sort of um, things to encourage each other all the time. But yeah, so basically how the, the challenge works is just, you know, each day we'll say, you know, today I plan on taking this many pictures and listing this many things. And then one of the admins, you know, will check in periodically throughout the day um, to say, hi, how's it going? How's your listing? You know, just to kind of get, get us moving. And, um, then at the end of the day, we'll say, how'd you do? And the next day, okay, what's your goal? Let's get, get it going again. Um, so when we do that, I find that I really am listing more and selling more. So that's always good, right? Oh, this hair is killing me. Oh, it's so poofy. Maybe it's just in my head. Maybe it's in my head. Maybe I should just stick it, stick it back there. There we go. And then I'm going to get comments saying, it looked better before. <laughs> I'm like, okay, poofy. <sighs> Good gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, hang in there. <laughs> so the next mug is a Hallmark um, I Heart Grandma mug. And I bought this for 79 cents. And I didn't look any of these mugs up, by the way, when I got them. Um, and I didn't see one exactly like this. This was kind of the closest. It went for these are sold for twenty one dollars. So um, not that I'm saying that one will go for twenty one dollars, but I just thought it was cute and was worth a try. It was a good brand. So I heart grandma mug. I'll probably put it for the around the fifteen dollar mark. Is what I'm thinking. Okay, big hug mug. And um, <clears throat> when I posted my picture of my mug haul in the group. You know, somebody saw the big hug mug and they're like, oh, it's just not bringing what it used to bring. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. I think somebody was saying they used to go for like 60 bucks, um, but they're still going for pretty good money. Or I sold one just a couple weeks ago on Etsy uh, for $20. So, and it, and it had some condition issues on the inside. It had some like pen marks. I guess somebody would use it for a pen holder. Anyway, I spent 49 cents on this big hug mug, and I'm probably going to list it for more than 20 because I got 20 for the other one. Why? I don't know, because look at all these ones that are less. But somebody paid me 20 for it on Etsy. <laughs> look, there's not a single one. These are sold. Not a one of them. At the, oh, here we go, $21.97. <laughs> Why they picked mine is beyond me, but I'm glad they did. <laughs> Um, and then next is an uh, Odagiri mug, which is a good brand to pick up, um, I find. And it has got these orca, these killer whales on it. But I couldn't find this exact one. I found these are sold. I found, um, you know, darker ones and these taller ones. 
but I mean the, the prices are looking pretty good. I'm probably going to put it around the $17, $18 mark, $18.99, something like that um, with best offer because that's how I roll. I like to do it that way. All right, next, I actually, <clears throat> when I saw this mug, I have this mug at home. I like it because it's so big and I can feel it very full of coffee. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, I saw this and I said, hey, I've got that mug. Um, and it's a Starbucks Renew mug. And the prices are so-so. I mean, I'll probably go more towards this price range, towards the $12 price range but I did see somebody had listed like um like they had listed like partners like a couple together and they were look at this $26.99 whoa but you know what you never know um so yeah so these like partnered up for like $30 but I don't have this other exact same one mm, and I am not gonna sell my renew mug because I like it it is big and holds lots of coffee Okay, moving on. <laughs> Alrighty, I also picked up this um, Wedgwood Peter Rabbit mug, and it's got Mother Rabbit, you know, telling all her little baby rabbits, Mopsy Flopsy Cottontail, um, to go and play. <laughs> Crisis diverted, <laughs> averted, right? Crisis averted. Um, so yeah, these are sold. That mug I'm seeing at, you know, the $14 mark and such. I am not going to sell it for $2.49. No. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to put it at the $14.99 or so uh, price point. And then here I've used the flipper tools. So I, I have a video where I showed how to find sold listings. And it's not that hard, but there's an easier way if you don't like looking through all that code for it. And it's flipper tools. And um, what you do is you, like, so this is a Paddington mug. <laughs> I'm going to give you a quick tutorial. I ought to make a separate video. This little Paddington mug. What is Paddington doing in my mug? And he is. He's in there. Um, and this is a Tuscany mug brand. And so this one had sold. And so I was like, okay, uh, this is a good time just to show you real quick. So you take the code from the top up here, go to Flipper Tools, and go to the Etsy one, Etsy sold price, and plug it in. And it'll tell you what it sold for, sold for $30. There's also a, a tool, I already passed it up, on the Flipper Tools where you can find out, you know, when it shows best offer on eBay, eBay best offer actual selling price, and then you plug in the like URL right there. I'll have to do a separate video. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that was going for it. That went for 30 bucks on Etsy, pretty good. Um, this is another one, this is a Jesse Ventura mug. Where'd it go, where'd it go? And this one is a Minnesota My Governor Can Beat Up Your Governor mug. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember um, Jesse Ventura when he was the governor of Minnesota. He's a wrestler. Um, some of you are old enough, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, so these are not sold listings um, because they're, I don't think I found one that was sold. But $15 on that. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably put it around that price point. I just thought it was funny. Jesse Ventura, yeah. And then this Alaska mug was also, I mean, it's so heavy. I'm, I'm tempted to keep it because it will hold as much coffee or more than my Renew mug. But if you don't know, I think Alaska and Texas have like a standing sort of rivalry about size. You know how it is. Come on. Um, <laughs> so this is an Alaska mug. It's really heavy duty. Um, I didn't find any sold listings, but I found this one for $20.95 and this one $18.99. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to do pretty well. It's pretty cool. Heavy. Yeah. That's a good mug. Good mug. And then I also picked up a Hooters mug. Hooters. So it looks like such on the outside. And then on there, and then inside, there's all the owls. So I paid 79 cents for this one, and I didn't see the exact same one. Because you see, it doesn't have that orange rim across, around the bottom like these do. And the sold are not, these are sold, okay. They're not super great, but eh, I figured I would take a chance. So I'll still list it, I think. I didn't, I don't know, let's take a look over here. I mean, I'll probably, 
I'll probably put it around the $15 price range because, yeah, I'm not going to list it for $5. Not happening. Not happening. And then I got a Tweety mug, which also may have been a, a dud, but who knows. Uh, 79 cents. And here's, these are solds, right? Let me double check. Yeah, solds. And this exact one I saw sell for $9.98, which is okay. Um, so, you know, a couple of these I'll have to decide, like, oh, do I really want to go through with it if it's not above a certain point, or do I want to just redonate it and not have to worry about it? And that's a possibility. Then we have got, oh, I forgot to show you that. Okay, I'm going to have to make a separate thing to go at the beginning. Um, <laughs> Flash Gordon VHS, and it's old. It doesn't even have a, you know, a skew on it. It's an oldie. So look at that. Somebody had like $64.93 on it. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Margaret. Um, yeah, so yeah, Flash Gordon. So here on Etsy, I see one that went or is going for about eight dollars. I don't no, I didn't see another one that was an old one like this. So um, this one is how to catch Texas trophy specs. It's a fishing one, um, and I picked this up for ninety nine cents. And then this is at um, Amazon. It's going for fifty three ninety eight. Let me see if that's the only one. Oh, nope. Oh. All right, used. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. <laughs> used like new. Look, it still has a cellophane. I could do used like new, right? <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> Very good condition. So I could still probably do like 17 bucks on it or something. And then this one was another one that ended up being a little bit of a dead art criticism. $9.99 I paid, and I don't know why I thought, okay, let's go for it, because I, I did look this one up. Maybe that's why. Maybe because there's none on Prime. Let me check new on Prime. Oh my goodness, don't let me sneeze again. Free shipping. Yeah, maybe that's why. I don't know. Okay, but for whatever reason, when I looked it up, I thought, oh, that's a little be good. Eh, not so much. Um... Oh, that's my, I have signed out of that. Well, let me just close this up and I'll show you the rest of what I got. Scoochie, scoochie, scooch. Um, okay, so I also picked up this Racing's Great Escapes and I thought I looked it up, but oh, that's why. Can you hear that? <laughs> that's something I didn't hear when I picked it up. Where'd it go? There's like a piece loose in there and that is not a good sign at all. Also, this tape is pretty, like, you can see it's not tight on there. It's kind of popping up. So this one is, I'm probably not going to redone it. I'll probably just trash it, recycle it, because I wouldn't want someone else picking it up thinking that it's going to work, you know? But, yeah, there's a piece rattling around in there. And then I also picked up this one behind the waterfall, which I also thought was going to be a good one. I don't know why. I looked it up. And then I got home and looked it up, and it wasn't. I don't know. It happens. 79 cents. This one is going back to redonate, and I forgot to look this up. Oh my gosh, okay. But it's a tie, and it's a ladybug. A ladybug. So yeah, um, the, the ladybug, if it's not going for a good profit to go online, this will go in my booth. I usually put about $5 or $5 and up on plush that I have in my booth, and they sell, they sell, they sell. Now I know I looked some of this other stuff up. <laughs> I must have closed that. Oh, I forgot to look that up for sure. <laughs> um, I got this bag. I'll show you real quick. It's a bagalini. And this one I think <clears throat> I'm going to keep because it's got all kinds of pockets and pouches and zippers. And I think it would be a really good um, garage selling bag. So that's going to be my new garage sale bag. And then I picked this up. And it's a travel bag. I'm going to not unzip it, but I'll show you the picture. So it looks like that on the inside. It's got all the compartments and things. I paid $4 for it, um, and I forgot what I think I'm going to get for it, but I'll probably put it at least at the $20 mark. And then I got this, Laurel Birch Cat Plate. Uh, I paid $3 for this one, and I forgot to look it up, so I have no idea what it's going to go for, but usually Laurel Birch stuff does pretty well. So, yeah. And that 
I think is it as far as the hole goes. What I forgot to show you, I, I was gonna do this at the, at the beginning, was I got some mail. <laughs> what, and this, this is from Nellie, um, and I, I bought this from her. She found this, or got this, I don't know. It was, and she said, hey, I've, I've got this wallet. And would you like it? And I said, yes, yes. But what she didn't tell me was that it was going to come in this super cool pouch. The super cool pouch. This is a Harry Potter Royal Mail. With, and then it's got all of the Harry Potter um, like stamps on them, right? Up there. And they're the British stamps, or else they're stickers to look like them. Because there's the little queen. I don't know. My friends will have to tell me. First, I mean, is it like forever stamps? for England or are they just are these just stickers I don't know my friends will have to tell me um anyway let me give you a closer look like that um or they could just be novelty ones but I don't know I don't care they're cool and then here's the wallet oh let's do it the other way Ta -da! so that's the front and then this is the back. It's got part of Hogwarts on it. And then when you open it up, this is the inside. And then there's a little card in there. Yeah. Super cool. Anyway. Oh, Harry Potter. So if you don't know, I like Harry Potter a lot. And I, I don't know. I just do. Uh, so yes, thank you so much, Nellie, for finding that for me and and letting me buy it. So I appreciate it. So uh, is that it? I think that's everything. Yes, I did it. Success. All right. Um, thanks so much for watching, you guys. And if you aren't a part of the International League of Thrifters, come on over and join. We have a good time. Um, lots of positive. I mean, it's we just share and, and encourage each other um, with our reselling. So come check it out. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Texas Gal Treasures, and I have a website, texasgaltreasures.com. And if you have not already, please think about hitting that subscribe button so that when I put out new videos, you will get little updates saying, hey, Margaret has a new video. And uh, hit like, and let me tell you what else to do with your life, because apparently I'm just telling you what to do, left and right. Um, brush your teeth and floss before you go to bed because you know what happens. Okay, we won't get into it. All right, anyway, go out and enjoy yourselves, guys, and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. I got a haircut. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it. The moment she said moose, I knew I was in trouble. I'm, I was just trying to get it cleaned up, you know, because I'm trying to grow it back out. But yeah, she really moosed it up. <laughs>